All right, if you ever have to take uh, and check a capacitor while the system's running, say, you know, you can't shut it down server room, or you already had it going, rusty terminals, whatever reason, you can check these and get an accurate reading of what this is giving you. I'm supposed to be getting 45 out of this, so. Um, you either need two meters or your meter's gotta be able to check two line items like amps and voltage. So, what we're looking for is we're looking for the amps of the start winding or whatever winding that the capacitor's on. And the voltage between the start and the run winding. So, um, on this one, here's my start winding, and this is jumping back to my run winding. So, this is giving me my voltage there, and then I can grab my amps here. On my particular meter, what I'll do is I'll just hit hold, and it'll hold those numbers. Now I can come back, and I can do just a little bit of math. 3.43... Times the only number you got to remember 2652 you'll come up with that divide your difference between your run and your start winding into that so 351.8 telling me I'm getting 25 out of that cap so if you don't trust it arr, pull that disco that one was a snug one all right Okay, I cannot show my proprietary way of discharging the capacitors, so I have to move the camera slightly. The capacitor has been deemed safe. Okay. Get these off there. We'll go back into microfarads here, just to give you that grin and giggle. My hold's not on anymore. I'm gonna go up to common. Usually I just use meter leads, but I'm using these clamps because I'm a one-handed monkey doing a video. Reads pretty darn accurate. It's a good test, huh? I'm reading 24.7. So I've got a bad cap. I've got to replace that cap. But this is uh, here for you to be able to use it. You can use this on condenser fan motors, three-phase motors. Um, you just got to know your windings and, and where to hook up to it. It's very reliable. Do the math.